A coronary angiogram is an invasive procedure which we perform on patients to directly visualize the blood supply to the heart muscle. It's usually performed in a cardiac catheter laboratory. A coronary angiogram is done on a patient who is either awake or slightly sedated, lying on the cath lab table. And the principle of the procedure is to access the arteries via either the artery on the wrist, called the radial artery, or via the artery in the groin, called the femoral artery. And we, uh, first of all, apply some anaesthetic over the artery, and then with a very fine tube, we insert into the artery and thread it to the heart uh, itself under direct visualization using an x-ray monitor. Then we inject the dye directly into the heart arteries and take pictures of the heart arteries of the dye running through the arteries from different angles, again by manipulating the x-ray machine. We advise patients to have a coronary angiogram if we believe that the coronary arteries are responsible for the cause of their symptoms, whether it be angina, which is chest pain, or certainly if the patient has had a heart attack. And sometimes we do a coronary angiogram if we are doing a preoperative evaluation for a patient undergoing cardiac surgery. So after we visualize the coronary arteries and their major branches with a coronary angiogram, we may identify a problem blockage or narrowing within the coronary arteries that then needs to be treated. The narrowing is what we think is responsible for that person's symptoms, chest pain or breathing difficulty, or may have been the reason why the person had a heart attack. So a coronary angioplasty procedure is the term used to treat that problem blockage area. A coronary angioplasty is the term we used to treat an area within the heart artery that is narrowed or has a problem blockage. It's usually performed as an extension of the diagnostic angiogram procedure itself by using the same access points either over the radial artery or the femoral artery we pass guiding catheters to the heart arteries and then use that as a conduit to pass specialized wires down the artery of interest. Over the wires we then pass balloons followed by stents which we deploy at the site where the problem blockage is with the ultimate aim of restoring normal blood supply to that area of heart muscle. Being a commonly performed and straightforward procedure the risks of a coronary angiogram are generally accepted to be low and we typically quote to the patient a risk of one in a thousand of a serious complication and that includes the risk of a heart attack, a stroke or even death. The risks of a coronary angioplasty however are a little bit more involved because the procedure itself is more invasive and takes a lot longer and depends on the complexity of the coronary blockages and the number of blockages that we're trying to treat and again typically we quote to the patient a risk of 1 to 2% of a coronary angioplasty procedure. Because heart disease and heart attacks are a common problem and burden in today's society, and we see a lot of this in our clinic, the coronary angiogram, although it's an invasive procedure, is a very commonly performed and widely regarded as a very safe procedure for a patient to have. So coronary angioplasty is an established an evidence-based treatment procedure for opening up blocked arteries. It's practiced on a daily basis worldwide by experienced interventional cardiologists and is known to be a safe procedure that improves patient symptoms and long-term outcomes for patients.